welcome back to my channel my name is jay and just make sure to subscribe because i'm messing up my intro it's supposed to be a vlog this is day three of vidcon now again i don't know if this is us or whatever i gotta figure out which country this is in but yeah i'm gonna learn about today's it says pricey to profit and then it says rights Rice management company working management on, uh, um, a little bit about my background before we go into everything um, so I have been working uh, you kind of with YouTube and on YouTube for about 10 years now okay um, I don't know why I look blurry over there but yeah I'm gonna go learn and then I'll get back to y'all because he's teaching me about stuff all right Bye, all. Okay. hey guys so I'm back I'm a little tired I was about to knock out might knock it off to this but anyway so i was learning about copyright i didn't even know that was what it was about i was like hey this is something i need to learn i loved how he was straight to the point and some of the stuff i already knew some of the stuff i didn't know so about copyright he was talking about basically copyright claim and copyright strike so when you're using videos make sure you get permission and and to use some of the material in your videos to uh, reaction videos. The people who do reaction videos, that is not uh, fair use because later, he said later you can get a copyright for that. Copyright strike, he said. Because that is not your content and you reacting to it, like the whole video, that's nothing. But when he said that, I was like, but a lot of people have been doing getting away with it. He's like, yes, you get away with it now, but then later... He was saying in the near future, he knows that YouTube is going to change with their copyright. Everything is changing. Like, I feel like it is going to change too because everybody's using uh, reaction videos to do reaction. They're getting money out of it. And if you get a copyright claim from one of those music people, I forgot what it's called, e Epidemic Sounds or whatever. A lot of people are saying they're getting copyright claims. He said, use it to back you up. Use a license. Like, you see how you're paying for it? Study and read your license or whatever it's called and use that as a dispute. Usually, when you dispute it, it automatically disputes for you, but not all the time because some of the music you're using that you're paying for, they say it's free, but it's not free. So watch out. Make sure he said you read the policies and all that. This is why I do not pay. What's the point of me paying for music? That they say is theirs they license it but it's not theirs because there's always stuff going on it even happens with people who do music in general so for me i just use shout outs to youtube library that's where i get my music they have free music every day they update if they don't update every day they update every week if they don't update every week, they update every month. They have new music. I always go on into there. I get my music. And that's it. They have proper music now. I remember back in the day, they always had YouTube library though. But people didn't utilize it too much. They started utilizing it when the copyright claims came. So yeah, they have good music. They update frequently. Trust me, they have good music. Everyone's like, no, I don't want to use it. They don't have good music. You have to literally sit there and take your time to listen to music and choose which one is best for you. A lot of people don't like to take time to do it. Well, take it as, as is like if it's your job. Like YouTube is your job, right? It is your job. You, you want this to work for you, right? So take your time, study, learn how to do it. If you take your time to edit and all that, then I'm sure you can take time to go through the music library and choose which one you you want. I like it now, the YouTube library now, where you can, they switch it up. You can go the classic version or the original. The original, I kind of don't like it because it's, ev no, not the original, the new way because it's everywhere. I like the original, the, like the classic, because it shows you right away which music it is required for common light. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to correct myself. Common, common license something. Is it called common license? Common creative attributes that, that's what it's called so that means that you have to reference it in your video like they give you a, a thing to copy and paste and you put it there whereas there's some free music you don't have to put it in your in your description so you copy and paste and put it in description there's some that you don't have to copy and paste in your description but people still do it people still do it to avoid getting issues from youtube that is smart i should start doing that but i'm like no but yeah, the 
classic version, like I said, it shows you that. Whereas the old version, I mean, whereas the new version now, sometimes it does not tell you whether or not they want you to add that in your description. So this is what I do. I listen to the music that I like. If I like it, then I copy and paste that music. Go into the old classic, like the old version of the YouTube library. And then I see if that is what I have to put in my description. If that is a, what is it called? Common, created, whatever it's called. That thing where you have to put in your, your description. I see if that is it. If that is it, then no. And it's easier to access now because they have genres of where you want to get your music look so like genre as in like hip-hop you click hip-hop it shows you all the latest hip-hop music rock it shows you all the latest rock it shows you all the latest uh reggae and all that whereas before the old one, oh my god you were scrolling through like millions of pages just to get the right one whereas now I'm telling you i used to struggle to just to get music sometimes i gave up and i'm like nah I don't need to give up I need to keep trying keep doing this and get the music I want because I don't want a copyright ID you know what I'm saying so I took my time and I did it but now it's easy everything is one category you just scroll down it's probably like two three pages done you're done but like within five minutes whereas the old one it will take hours which I like about that so yeah for a copyright strike there's this thing on YouTube he said you only get it if you're monetized but like i said i thought you only get it if you're monetized but now i haven't maybe i'm doing something good there's this cop it's basically a c and then the circle the copyright thing you could see who is well obviously i have that option on but it doesn't tell me who has my videos or not if you're monetized let me just talk about if you're monetized if you're monetized there's this thing there that has a c and the circle and then it tells you click on it and it tells you who has stole your video or a portion or whatever. For mine, I can manually do if I see that somebody took my video or whatever, I could just copy the link and put it there at their the link in the bar, or whatever it's called. Yeah. So once I put that in the bar, or whatever that the thing is asking you, the link, I can either monetize it. So when claiming rights holders are given the option if I'm the holder of the video I can receive all the money like I could shut it down and then receive all the money or I can block the content and then ma make the content no longer viewable on YouTube or I could take it down so there's this process you have to go through and fill out and all that and yeah I can go and talk about that but I think I already spoke about that in my other video so I don't need to go in depth but if you guys want a video comment down below and I'll do a video like I'll research for you like I know what it's about but it's hard to talk about because I need all the papers and stuff and they'll be like here this is what I'm talking about blah 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 I've seen the process of how to do it I watch a YouTube video and he was also saying that if you take an original content all to yourself and put it into your language so like okay let's say the original content of the video is in English right and I take it and then I put it into my language which is called tree they said that is technically not stealing because you're making the video blow up more and you're putting it into another language where people who speak that language understand when I heard that I was like it makes sense too but they should also get penalized but hey so I'm gonna read the levels of claiming there's levels of claiming. I'm just gonna read it because I took a screenshot and then go into what I'm talking about so the levels of claiming are manually claiming so that's when you manually claim for it there's content ID that's when YouTube does it for you you know when you this is why again I use YouTube free music in the YouTube library to get free music if I was to use, remember when I did the Tory Lanez reaction, what I, I tried to put a snippet of his video. There we go. I need to talk about that. I tried to put a snippet of his song. It didn't work. I already got a ID, a ID claim, content ID, whatever it's called. And they told me content ID claim, whatever. And I had to take that out of my video, redo the video, and then re-upload. So I took down my video, re-upload it. And then there's copyright match. That is when, again, YouTube does this processing thing and then it already matches whatever then it says how does it work so the process the below is an overview of the claiming process so it says reference file created 
So you create a reference file. Okay, there we go. This is how you do the copyright claim thingy. So it says reference file created, content is matched, claim policy is applied, and the uploader is notified, and then data slash revenue viewable, and then claim dispute if occurred. So they said if you get a copyright strike, it's best to contact the person, but even if you contact the person, person will will probably fully see it and then they go i'm not taking that down i don't care what you say and that's it because they, they're like oh you should not put it up you know what i mean to be honest this is what i think if you see that somebody stole your video or whatever speak to them first because maybe they don't know about it you know what i'm saying and if they do they probably don't know the full story of it like to understand Speak to them first, and if they don't understand after the third time you spoke to them, then you could file your copyright claim. You know what I'm saying? Just don't automatically see somebody sell your video, automatically put the copyright claim. But then, I remember I was reading something. This person said that they stole their video, and they're getting a lot of views from it, and they want them to take it down. Like I said, speak to them first. Tell them to take it down. Tell them it's not right. Yada, 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 yada. Because, yes, they got a lot of views away. Or if they're monetized. No. Not even monetized. Because monetized, you damn well know you're stealing the thing. You know what I'm saying? But if they're starting out, if you see that they're not monetized yet, speak to them. Let them know. Be like, hey, reach out to them. Be like, hey, I see that you stole my video, whatever. And then if they say, like, what do you mean this is your video, whatever. Because it does happen a lot I remember i was reading one person said this is not your video i got it from this person you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like fishy if somebody said that to me like they saw my video i'll be like well, what are you talking about whatever but if they show me that that is their video even if somebody did come and tell me that i sold their video or whatever and i go no i got it from this person i'll automatically take it down because they explained to me what are the requirements you know what i'm saying Yes, I know I said to study. People don't like to study. But sometimes that studying that they did is not enough information. You get what I'm saying? So speak to them first before you do their copyright claim. And I'm going off topic as you know. Uh, so somebody asked about music. Or, yeah, reaction videos when they take a song. You could speed up the song, take a snippet of it and all that. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't get caught now like the guy is saying, YouTube will finally catch on. Like last not even last year. I don't remember the year it was. I did so many reaction videos with songs like I did. Because at first they said it was 15 seconds. It's not 15 seconds. Then they said it was 30. It's not 30. Then they said it was like 10 seconds. And then they said it was two, even 2 minutes. YouTube can catch you, eh? Because I remember I did. Uh, I can't remember what song they caught me. Even if you play a beat. <laughs> even if you play a beat, they catch you. So the people who tell you, oh, you can play a snippet up to this speed up the pitch or whatever it doesn't matter youtube will catch you a year later that's what happened to me eventually youtube will catch you because i did videos reaction videos of songs or whatever and i was like yay i did it i never got caught whatever a year later i started getting all these copyright claim ids i was like yo this is from a year ago another one from two years ago they started cop and then i'm like you know what i'm done i was that was right there and then i was like i'm done I'm not taking no more uh, music that is not copyright free. I'm just going to the library. That is when I learned to use the library. I was like, I'm done. So I used the library and I went into my my videos in YouTube Studio. Well, it's called Creative Studio on the desktop. And I went to, I went to go change all the music. Even like my first videos, I did not care. Because... The first video that I did, I think I went to vacation. Y'all can go see it. We ain't, we ain't going to say where because I want you guys to go see it. But anyways, I did a video and I put a song. The artist, I forgot his name. I really forgot his name. But he wasn't popping. He wasn't popping then. Like, he just came out and he didn't copyright all the songs until he became big. He became big. I don't know when, but don't quote me on this. Could have been 2018 or 19 is when he became big. Started getting all copyright claims for his songs. I was like, Ugh. but not to worry, it wasn't blocked. So, yes, YouTube does uh, 
some of the songs get blocked in some countries mine was a block only one of the reaction videos was blocked i just left because i was like, i already got views i don't care i'm not gonna monetize you can't monetize anyways i don't care but anyways it wasn't blocked able to change the music and add whatever song from youtube library and the whole the whole video some of the parts where i was speaking had just like a song going through i'm like it's okay because you can barely hear me anyways so yeah that's what you could do if you get a copyright claim just go to your youtube studio well you can't do it on your phone you can but it's going to be hard do it on the desktop and then you press restrictions or you click on the restriction part you could take off the song and put in the youtube library that's if it's, if it's not blocked then you could take down and put in music from the youtube library but if it's blocked you can't do nothing you gotta leave it up or you gotta delete and re-upload i couldn't delete mine because that was like from two years ago i was like but yeah i learned a lot with this copyright claim thing i learned about it more into death i already knew about some because i i do my research as you guys know but yeah do not use music that is not copyright free even if even if the channel say copyright free they're lying because they stole it from somewhere don't even buy uh, free copyright music. Well, it's not free. Non-copyrighted music, don't buy, don't purchase it. Because in the end, most of them are going to get copyrighted claims. So just use what YouTube gives you. Every day they post stuff or every month. There, there's a free database. Get it off from there, you know what I'm saying? They're giving us a break. So at least they're giving us something free, you know what I'm saying? So use that. Don't pay for it. You're wasting your money by paying. I'm sorry to the people who are watching and they're like, what are you talking about? I pay for it. Nothing happened. Again, it might come later because that's what happened to me a year later, two years later. Boom. All started like coming and getting all these copyrights. I was like, damn, this was years ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how, how long you had it up or whatever. But yeah, use YouTube's library for free music, okay? Don't use any other website. Even on YouTube, how they have all those channels. Some of them, one of them that I used, the channel got taken down. I don't know why, but use YouTube library to save your butt. Okay? But yeah, I'm talking. This says 21 minutes, but I'm pretty sure when I edit, it's not. But anyways, I really, really hope you guys learned something. And comment down below your thoughts and all. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be in two hours. No, an hour because I have another one coming up at six. So, yep. So, hopefully you guys are going to get back-to-back -back videos. But anyways, I'm talking too much. Yep. See you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.